you know, it's me, your little boy, Samson. I have something special, authentic for us chosen ones today. You know what? Your enemies are absolutely so scared of death. And they are indeed, at the same time, losing their mind. They are losing their soul. They are losing their spirit. Because they can't kill you. And all that they meant to kill you backfire them. You know, let me tell you, Chosen, your enemies are what are seriously frustrated because they were desperately waiting for a moment for you to be killed. They were earnestly waiting for a season, a time. For them to destroy you but what truly really shocked them is that they can't they can't what truly really shocked your enemy is that all that they have done all that they have put together all that they have put you know they have you know planned together could not work out for them so your enemies are now seriously so embarrassed they are now accurately so embarrassed by everything that they are seeing within you. Your enemies are what are furiously so humiliated. They are in pain, bro. They are seriously losing it right now, as I'm telling you. Because all that they have did was to break you, bring you down, destroy your life. All that they have did and they were earnestly waiting for is to see disaster, chaos, fell on you, fell in your business, fell in your life, fell in your relationship. Fell in your in your what in your focused, fell in your going out and your coming in. But what shocked them is that you are not born to be to be killed. You are not born to be killed. You are not born to be taken by any anyone but the way they want. You are not in this world to be what to be messed up with the way they expect. So your enemies are now seriously so humiliated because all that they did to destroy you have automatically backfired them. It is unbelievable to them. It is something with unbelievable that they can't keep who God have already permitted to live. Drop it and sell with them you. They can't keep who God have permitted to leave. They can't keep that business that God have already permitted to grow. They can't keep that marriage that God have already permitted to be. They can't keep that word, that joy, that happiness, that growth that God have already permitted to be. So your enemies are scared of death because all that they tried to use to kill you is now turning against them. It's now backfiring them. It's now befearing them. It's now falling on them. The chaos, the disaster, the frustration, the humiliation, the setback. Because God is with you. Because you are not alone in this world. You are not alone in this planet world. You are not alone in this season. You are not alone, not now or in next world to come. You are not alone. So your enemies, the worst error that they did was trying to kill what God have already permitted to live in your life. <laughs> they were feeling so, so, so amazed because they thought they have done it, not knowing that you are more stronger. 
not knowing that the temple in your life is greater than what they can destroy. Yes, they did, did all that they made for evil. Look at it. The Bible said in the book of Exodus, it said to Moses, he placed the blood, placed it, placed that mark in the front door of all Israel, that when I will pass by, I will not smack, I will not kill them, I will not destroy them, I will not touch them, but I will give them peace, I will frustrate their enemies, I will destroy their enemies. Your enemy thought they can easily kill who, who God have anointed to live. It's impossible. Now they are scared because God has permitted you to live that all that they were doing behind you, they thought they were smart, you know, because you have no idea what they did. They thought they were intelligent because they believe you have no idea what they plotted. Then with that, they will surely be able to frustrate you. They will surely be able to sabotage all. But guess what? They could not. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in them. Now your enemies have furiously come to understand that you are not built to be destroyed just like that. You are not built to be frustrated just like that. You are not built to end up as they expected just like that. The mark is on you. Mark to prosper. Mark to live. Remain blessed.